Hello, today I thought I'd have just a little bit of fun. Go cook some uh, chicken wings. And really, I don't have enough room in one basket or the other to put all the chicken wings. I'm cooking about 18, 19, 20, something like that. I forgot how many it is now. But another one I'll go in here. So I thought I'd compare the Ninja Foodie with the uh, Power Air Fryer XL. And we'll see how it works. And first, I'm going to take and cover these wings up pretty good with this all-purpose chicken seasoning here from Lowry's. I just shake a bunch in there on top of them. Now just throw them around like that until they mix up good. And when I hit a bare spot like that, just put a little more in. Don't want to overcome them. Okay, they're looking pretty good now. Alright, now I'm going to try to put the equal amount in both of these uh, machines here. Make sure you wash your hands about every other chicken wing. You don't want to uh, get contaminated here. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, I can get ten in this uh, Ninja Foodie without much of a hassle there. I don't know if you're counting or not. Now we'll try this over here. Okay, I've got nine in there, and I could actually get one more in there, maybe two. So, anyway, now let's get them all plugged up here and get them going. Okay, now I'm going to put this basket into this uh, power air fryer. And it's got a spot on here for, we'll go around the menu. And I passed it. Go around one more time, and there's the chicken leg. And so it says 20 minutes at 360. Okay, now the Ninja Foodie over here, it actually doesn't have a, a menu like that on it. But we'll go close it down, turn on the power button, and hit the air crisp. Now that's at 390. I'm going to drop the temperature on that to 375. And now that's got 20 minutes set on that, so I'm going to hit start. Now, after about 10 minutes, we'll look and see which one is doing what. Well, I've got a second. If y'all will get a chance, give me a thumbs up and join my channel. I sure would appreciate it. Because I sure do like making these little videos for you. And so, uh, we'll check back in just a minute and see how it's going between the uh, Ninja Foodie and the Power Air Fryer XL. Ten minutes now. I always like to take something out about halfway through and stir it up a little. Although some people say it's not necessary, but hey, that's just what I like to do. So let's take a look at it and see what they look like. Turn that one off. And stop that one. Good thing about these are both of them, if you open the pot, it stops, and if you lift the lid, it stops. So let's take a look inside and see what we got. True, so they look about the same to me. There's the uh, Ninja Foodie right there. We'll move over here 
to the Power Air Fryer XL. You can't tell a whole lot of difference in them. So I'm going to turn them over and move them around a little bit and put them right back in there to let them go the other 10 minutes. Both going again, so they're getting close to nine minutes a piece. So we'll look back again in a second. But they're looking really good. I tell you, of course, now if I could only have one of these items <clears throat> and I had the power hour for hour a lot sooner than I got the Ninja Foodie. But if I could only have one, it would probably be the Ninja. Because <clears throat> you can just do so many more things with that than you can the power air fryer. Although I'd really hate to do it without my power air fryer. Because I still yank it out most of the time when I want to cook some fries, I'll pull it out and throw it on the counter. Just throw some fries in it. But now the, the Ninja Foodie, like I say, is probably, in fact, I don't have one I'd be the one I'd go with. <clears throat> and actually it's a little bit easier to clean than the uh, power air fryer. We go to getting down to it now. <clears throat> Ninja Foodie says it's 32 seconds and the power air fryer says it's less than a minute, so we'll get close. We'll find out in a second or two how it looks. I'll tell you what, they really smell good. I guess I better try one to cut into it though before I dump them all out because it has need a little more cooking from time to time. Okay, the Ninja Food is down to six seconds. And there it is, and it's zero, and it always says cool for some reason or another, but it just stays on cool for a second or two, and it goes off. And that says it's done, so I'm going to back one out and put it on this plate over here. I'll try to do it without getting in front of the camera anymore, and I have to I'll get one of these right here. Okay, now the Power Fryer XL is stopped. Take one of them out. Right over to them, we'll show you down this basket when I'm finished up. Show you just how they look. Okay, now. Let's see how good you can see that. Well, it's not so bad, but let's see if we can tighten up just a little bit. All right, now let me get a fork and knife and cut into each one of them. Okay, this one here come out of the power air fryer. see about the Ninja Foodie here. Oh yeah, so is that one too. Just trying to come away from the bone and all. See, that looks good. That's good chicken right there. Okay, so, well that about does it for this. Just want to make a little comparison, see what y'all thought about it. Well, like I say, if I could just pick one, I would have to go with the uh, with the uh, Ninja Foodie because it you can just do so much more with it. But now there's nothing wrong with this uh, Power Fryer XL here. Oh yeah, see that looks pretty good. Now this is one thing that the power air fryer has got to do with the uh, Fuji, I mean the Ninja Fuji with. You can't, you don't have a handle on the basket to pick it up and dump it out with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to slide it over like that. And take my handy dandy little grip, slide me back up here a little bit. I'm handing in the little grips here. Ouch! Let's see if I can get them in there. Yeah. 
one that wants to hang on a little bit. There he is. Now, we're ready to start eating some wings right here. Now this looks good. I use this little tangy zesty stuff right here. And the wife, she makes her some homemade Carolina barbecue sauce, which she won't tell me how she does it, but every once in a while, and I always forget. So next time she makes some, we'll have to put it in the recipe, because it is good, good. So anyway, so next time, there you have it. That's the Ninja Foodie. That's the Power Fryer XL. Both of them cook these chicken wings up real good. Well, like I say, if you just have one, you'd have to go with the uh, Ninja Foodie. Sure would. So, well, pop me some French fries in this uh, Power XL over here and get them going, and then we're going to eat some dinner. And so, until next time, hope you enjoyed my little video. I hope you come back and watch more of my videos. And give me a thumbs up and join my channel if you can. Until next time, y'all have a real good day now. Goodbye.